Well, good morning, guys. It's a beautiful Monday morning. It's not 8,000 degrees out like it's been. Let me take Rocky down to the truck because the battery decided to go bad on the old lad wag. So we're uh, trying to back up without being able to see a thing because my windows are all fogged over. <laughs> There we go. Now we can kind of see. There you go. Okay. We're going down. We got to go get Fireball all fired up and go get unloaded. And head down and get loaded. We're going a different direction today. We ain't going back to Kansas. Not today, anyway. Yeah, we got everything unloaded out of the Rocky. Get everything back in the. Bam! <laughs> back over in the fireball Gotta do your laundry because we took two showers last week and utilize all of my clothing I keep in the truck I don't pack I pack lightly so I used to carry a lot more in snowball but I used to spend a lot more time out too so Billy gonna put me right there gum weeds here yeah gum it Billy well, we are ready to hit the road and get this week started. We got a swing by tag and hopefully they got my valve in that I need so that we can uh, hopefully get started fixing some more of these air leaks. But we're going to head on out. We got to go get unloaded, like I said, and go get reloaded. And we're going up to Michigan today. Yeah, let's see if we can get the right part today. <laughs> uh, hopefully. I'd like to fix that air leak. I think I need to get some, some glass cleaner. Got some at home somewhere. Just got to grab it. I definitely need it though. <laughs> Don't do me no good at the house, does it? Nope, not at all. We're gonna pull in here and illegally park and go inside and see if we can get our part. That's our goal. Looks like old Errol's got his car selection down a little bit. There's numbers. Looks like got a, I think that was a B mod that ran locally and a Pro 4. It's got that big old trailer over there for sale. That's Double D Motorsports here in Farmington, Missouri. That gum LTL guy lost it or something. Uh, conveniently, it'll be here about three more hours. But we ain't got time to sit around and wait. We gotta go get delivered and get reloaded because we got 600 miles once we get reloaded to uh, get to our delivery location up in Michigan somewhere. Or, yeah, Michigan. MI. So, well, we tried it again. It is supposed to be here today, but they're going to go ahead and deliver it down to, to the yard to the farm and get it so we can just get it down there I guess so onward Jeffrey y'all know the deal let's pull up on this scale and see what we weigh I'm gonna go with the 76,000 pound range it just seems right today for light on fuel and be pretty accurate with the consistency of what we've been weighing with the stuff so we shall see here in just a second. Get up here on this scale. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I'm heavy. 77,000. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I honestly expected that to be a little lighter than that because, you know, it just way the load felt going down the road and the way the gauges ripped. I guess we was just a little on the heavier side. We're gonna go pop straps loose and get the stuff off of my trailer. So we can get on down to Tennessee, get reloaded and get parked up and start back north northerly bound. We are empty and paperwork's all done. You gotta make a phone call and we'll be ready to roll on down to Tennessee. Yeah, give it. 
get loaded up and start north. I don't know how far we'll make it, but we'll, we'll see if we're going to stop somewhere along the way and get some fuel. Yeah, oh, man. We made it. Let me shut this noisy thing off a minute. Go inside, check in. Let's see what the scoop is. A bunch of van trucks here today. Got two of them. Yeah, <laughs> we ain't loading over there today. We're going to circle back around and load back over here. There you go, wind's kind of picking up. Don't like that idea. No, sir, we got to park this crap. <laughs> Beautiful day out, though. Yeah, come, I'll take it. Yeah, I definitely will. I won't complain one bit about the, the weather today. I'll take the wind as being a little cooler out and tarping. About died last week. We made it up here to Marion, Illinois to the Road Ranger. Had to get some fuel loaded up, obviously. All of us always going to have to untarp it, unstrap it, and get load changed out because they waited until I was always getting my bills and I realized that we had a discrepancy on the bill of lading so, so we're fueled up uh, we got like five hours left of driving or something like that so we gotta get our receipt and get it back on the road i don't know how far we're gonna make it tonight yeah we got uh, about 160 gallons about 140 or 745 dollars roughly without the discount price obviously my flap i didn't even look to see what our discount was here when i pulled in here but i know it's you know saves a little bit of money uh better than paying straight through so we're gonna get the rolling and i don't know where we're gonna go i'm just gonna keep an eye on my time and kind of where i'm at Kind of shoot from the hip actually so <laughs> that's that's the goal for today just make it as far as we can because we need to be able to unload and get down and get our reload tomorrow uh, and get back to down to st louis with the reload tomorrow and you know it's kind of doing that trucking thing you know yeah i guess we're gonna finish the week out with a kansas run i don't know well, ladies and gentlemen, we found us a place to park. I hate running. Getting a late start, it seems like. Finding parking spots becomes harder and harder. Pinion yeah. seal leaking. Can't really see it. I can smell it. Leaking a little bit. Gonna have to get that addressed. I don't think we got. Front side got a little bit of leak down there. No biggie. We'll get it addressed. <laughs> uh, a quick walk about. Kind of like these rest areas. Yeah, pretty full sunset. There's the moon. There's the moon. Get the moon. That'll be a nice night tonight. Supposed to man, that's such a pretty sun sunset. Man. Good thing is I'll be able to see the sun come up in the morning from that direction. I like these rest areas here in Illinois. Most of them are nice and level. Hell, from this camera angle. Can't see my mouth. <laughs> Kinda like old Wilson off of home and prove improvement. Howdy ho there, neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, pretty interesting. I can't say really interesting weekend. Kind of a, I don't know, kind of a normal weekend with interesting things, you know, happening. Uh, we go to the races and they get rained out, or we take the Cub Scouts on a on a hike. I see some girl running around with a quarter of a mini skirt on with her butt cheeks hanging out 
<laughs> yeah, that's that's what you want to see when you got got a bunch of kids that are eleven and under running around a uh, drop of peanut. That's that's what you want to see running around when you got a bunch of kids on a on a hike. <laughs> but what is wrong with people? Why would you wear something like that and think it's halfway decent to wear in public? I really don't know. I mean, we got this mentality with the girls, don't look at me like I'm a sexual object, but they dress in a sexual manner. <laughs> I, I don't get the mentality, I really don't. But I won't go off on that rant. As much as I really like to, I ain't gonna. I did. I did get my got my ears lowered. See that? <laughs> oh, it's starting to look like one of them long-haired hippie freaks. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and close this one out. We'll get up in the morning, finish our journey to Michigan. We're in Savoy. I don't know how to say it. Illinois at the Restoria. I don't know, but we gotta get up in the morning. We still got like four and a half hours up there. Um, get getting delayed on loading. A little bit of a paperwork discrepancy. Um, <laughs> hey, I go in to get my paperwork after I got everything strapped and tarped. It's already been triple checked, and the bills say I got the wrong. Or the bills have a totally different product on it. Oh yeah, talking about Clint Stark and Sweat there, because I really didn't want to have to unstrap and untarp this thing. But they got it figured out, they fixed the bills. They didn't have to fix the load. <laughs> okay, up morning. We'll catch you guys then. Uh, stay safe, God bless you guys. And for Pete's sake, put some dadgum clothes on. <laughs>